Hey guys, good long way back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we are back with Doctor Who, where previously we've been dealing with all kinds of stuff going on. Yep. Wars. The tunnels. Tarns attacking. Finally, tunnel stuff happening. After we got off the, not the Titanic. Yeah. Tectium. 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 Mother. Which is dead now. Because of Swarma. Swarma? Something. Um, we also had Kate Stewart show up. Yep. Yes. Um, and some stuff with the Grand Serpent, who was doing Indeed. shenanigans he through was being Unit for a decision. long time Unit with uh, the Brigadier and Lethbridge Stewart. Brigadier. All kind of, well, the what? What? We had a poll about the Serpent, we by the poll. way. How long is this? What is it? Oh, did the Grand Serpent take the long way around? Mm. Not how long is the Serpent. 48%. Said no, and fifty-one percent said yes. Oh, man. That's a Fucking close. close one. Too bad it still doesn't add up to one hundred. Sometimes I force it. Yeah, me too. Tim, I pick the one that I like the most and add an extra. Yeah, you just say point five, point five. Nope. Tim says yes. I think the thing he does with the weird trimmers worms works similarly to the weeping angels. The worms come out with whatever years the person has left. We then get absorbed into the Grand Serpent. Hmm. So that's what keeps him young, is oh, he like absorbs their gotcha. whateverness. Hmm. Could be, I guess. Dip says, no, I think he just time jumped. No, wait, he time crawled. Is that what snakes do? But I'm Smothered. pretty sure we didn't see everything he did, and he definitely didn't take the long way around. Thadman says, I don't think he took the long way. He doesn't seem like he has a lot of patience. I mean, he seems to be... Like in the background at unit doing stuff that requires some patience. I guess if you're still doing it like a day, a year, whatever he's doing, it's not that bad. Uh, Last Hierarch says, I don't think he took the long way around. I think he's going to be linked to the tunnels in some way. Mm -hmm. I think this whole yeah. story is going to fold in on itself with the ultimate fold being that the doctor, uh, being the doctor regenerating and falling through to the new universe as the old one dies, and being the young child, having the show follow the original Doctor, and having the entire show slash ser series be a huge time loop. Hmm. So the Doctor regenerates and falls in the other universe, being the timeless child that begun it to begin with. I think is what they're saying. Wouldn't that and then we end then, the show? No, because then we would then follow the Doctor that we don't know previously, including Ruth and whoever else, mm -hmm. up until the point of uh, the first Doctor. Yeah, but then there's a, f a finite end, I guess. There would be at some point, but not necessarily finite at all. Because Everything how many doctors? How many doctors are before? Has an end. How many I mean, doctors are yeah. between the timeless I child and you. the first yeah. doctor? I mean, it's like Clara thing, right? Is it however in, many you want. In that moment, there's an infinite amount of time, kind of thing. But I don't know. Kevin, think I, about it this way: between twelve o'clock and twelve o one. You could keep dividing all that time no, infinitely and never That's what reach I it. Just said. You would never reach it, Calvin. It makes no sense. There's no such thing as math. Anarchy! Nate says, Serpent Schmerpin. Let's talk about how Belle and Vinder could be the doctor's parents. It's possible. She thinks running will help. Well, it bought her time. <laughs> what? That Are we going to have Dalek show? What is this? That's Rays of Death all it right. Is, it is Rays of Death. Getting oh, door shut. Close. Wow. Man, they're really not pulling the punches on, like, the problems from last episode are just... Swept away. <laughs> Not swept away, right? Yeah. There's still some tarns tagging. Leaving this behind. Oh, you need that. You need that. You need that. No. <laughs> oh, no. no I'm paid. Where is this? Oh. What is that? Oh. Man. His gun kills some tarns pretty quick. Get your hands in the air. Ah. The name's Stuart. Kate Stuart. James Bond. Yes! Dan! Kate Stewart! Kate Stewart! Jericho! Kate Stewart! That was so funny. Uh oh, she's in all three places at once? That's what it seems like. That's why it's a little discombobulating in the edit. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, it is like to the cut each cut. Seems you are unable to tear yourself away. Why do you have a nap? Is he shining that back there? <laughs> the party Jeez. shield surrounding the earth. Oh. How's the sun get? Yeah, how is the earth bright? Dude, look at the background. I kind of like it. Oh, there's a shield. So you will be imprisoned, interrogated, and bleed for the earth. 
Gleefully. <laughs> shall we see? I think I shall. Oh, we're gonna open it? Oh my gosh. Oh! She's gonna get her memories in one time. Oh, then... where do we go? Oh, this is where the house is. Uh-huh. Bring it back together? Huh. Do that with anything that he's dusted? She was amazing. She is amazing. Look all soppy on me now, Scouse. At least she wasn't alone. Restorative gas composition? That would provoke a predilection. Do you have any idea what she's talking about? Not a clue. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I don't know fucking... What? I'm guessing those are just some weird statues? Mm-hmm. I'm like, the, did they make the bronze statues? statues? No, yeah, <laughs> those were bronze statues. Oh, here's a corner shop, I guess. I love the... They all went the door. <laughs> <laughs> he Metabolic went. processing! They break so easily. <laughs> this guy's gonna <laughs> betray <laughs> his whole people. For chocolate. Chocolate! <laughs> Gleefully betraying Wait, his whole people. 1967, why are we here? She had left his. Clear. They need to recruit psychics. Division mission, that's my guess. Am I right? Yeah, that was with Ruth, right? Were you my companion? Yeah. <gasps> it's a new word of companion. <laughs> Time Lord's best friend. If I talk about okay. it, the collider will inject poison directly into my brain. I'll be dead in three seconds. Damn. I'll put the whole universe between us. And you'll come <laughs> crashing back in as if nothing had ever happened. I mean, that's how a doctor is for a lot of companions, right? Yeah. I think if like Amy and them were... Mm -hmm. The last of the Lupari. Wait, did he? Isn't there a bunch up in the. Every single one. Dead. Or it's fake. Because chocolate. I'm gonna kill every last Santar. Hope you do. I look forward to <laughs> the combat. Santar and ha! They can't just be like ha ha ha, they'd be a Santar. Oh, man, he's howling. They're able to get a lot of emotion on. Yeah. The face. the face, yeah, it does pretty well. Like, you can see the eyes really well, I feel like. What are we doing here? Passenger. Is this related to Vinder? Inside the passenger. She wants the gun, right? Jump in the river. No, no hesitation. <laughs> I need to show you something. I like the design of that pistol. What is that? No, I'm all about disrupting the systems. Shoot it. That'll control the steps. And they can get out. But it goes, oh. I thought they were gonna have to run up the steps and it like appears in front of them, and disappears behind them. You move stronger than the previous. Did, did they just like walk up like, we volunteer? No, uh, Commander Shallow like captured them. Success or death. And the reward for success? Death. <laughs> what the hell? Death or death. Now get to work. You can call me. Grand Serpent. It was a title bestowed on me. Yeah, I bet you've been making lanyards with that on for years. <laughs> Are you? Oh, shit. You can't get a full physical lock on me because I can't even get one on myself. Two. The TARDIS. Two oh, yasters. Yasters. <laughs> That's awesome. What have you done to me? Put you on the very naughty step. Frozen. Protificus Totalis. What you did. Is that the Harry Potter thing? Day of the Doctor. Anyway, it's just it's the doctor with the doctor, but it's, 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 it's the doctor. That's what I would have done. That's what you did do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like what? Quick uh, If it is her mom, it's three of them. Triplets! Oh gosh! In the doggos, are you? Man, he just lost his whole species. And you go kill off every Centauran. There were so many things happening in this. Centaurans killed all of his people. Oh, you didn't know. Wait, child tech? <gasps> Are you the right <laughs> We offer the three-fingered hand of an easy alliance. Cyber Dalek Centauran? Is that the idea of the three-fingered hand? Is that why they said it? Say, it seems like low for them. Is it just a trap? Too many questions. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That camera went. <laughs> Contact. Now she's just talking with herself. Antimatter. Created outside of our universe. Just antimatter. Oh. We can't hold on to this split existence much longer. Can we go there to the division? Can we do that? You shall have the highest honors. Yes. Can you invite everyone to the final flux event and then they kill off the Daleks and the Cybermen or something? It doesn't seem like them to like offer peace. The doctor was in here. 
You are interrogating her. She rescued herself. <laughs> Kate Stewart. He really hates Kate Stewart. Blooper House, trying to get her. Vinda, this is the doctor receiving you. Go get him. Uh oh. Ah, shit. What does that do? I don't know. Just death. It's the the send him back. Here. Yeah. Yes, with me to Kate in the tunnels. Other me, rescue Vinda. <sighs> And in the third. Who the fuck is this? Maybe a unit agent? You really should have said that sooner. It couldn't. I had a snake in my throat. When the flux comes, it could blow the doors in. Destroy all my work? We need to get you home. Yeah, destroy everything, we buddy. We need to make sure there's a history for him to be part of work for. Keep digging. Refreshment? Oh. <laughs> Refreshment? What is that? Cotton candy. You never watch Eric drink cotton candy? You'd love it. It's just sugar water. <laughs> Slightly pink sugar water. You'd love it. Get in, hurry. Bell. Yay! Yay! Oh, finally! And die and Dan. Finally! You were late. I was just... I promised... It was his fault. Also... I'm with you too. If the universe survives. Better make sure it does then. Oh. Yeah. Glad that was the response. He wasn't just like, <laughs> runs out of the <laughs> goes back into passenger? What the fuck? If they manage to wipe out the entire assembled armies of Cybermen and Daleks having lured them there to negotiate a truce. I don't think the Daleks or the Cybermen would come. <laughs> they come to kill a truce. Maybe, I guess so. Matter slows antimatter down, put enough in its way, and it stops and ceases to exist. Exactly. What? So the Cybermen and the Daleks absorb the flux yeah. and stop it from killing everything? But. Matter generating, flux repellent shields. Oh, matter generating. Okay, that's why. I was gonna say, how the fuck are they gonna stop it anyway? I have an idea. Dogs just shoot stuff and say to exterminate. My plan's more risky than that. <laughs> okay. We'll go with the more risky. I like how they just stab. And they're behind the walls. Hell yeah. What? Oh, Jericho! Jericho! What? How? They shut his ring. His transmit ring? Son of a bitch, how did you drop it? He will be a wall of Jericho. Well, how will he be a wall? Defend him. He was a wall? Wall. <laughs> the party shield deep space. I like the way that they're connected. It's kind of cool. Uh, hit him in their weak point. Oh, Daleks. Daleks. Cybermen. Cyberman. Man, look at all these That's ships, what? man. I like how unique each like ship. Like, you're like, ah, there's each Cybermen. There's design. Daleks. There's the uh, Suntarans. We accept the offer of protection against... So they don't want to die. <laughs> oh! Oh, man. Jesus. Beautiful. Good John Island. Suntar! Fucking Suntar did it. We had a poll about who would win between these three. It's Suntar. Of course, not an open war. That's a fucking trick. I said they'd have a plan, though. Like they would craft some kind of strategery. This is for our people! Yeah, stun! I'm afraid that my options for exiting are rather non existent. Aw, oh, what? Damn, Jericho. Nameless you. He has a name. I, sir, am Professor Eustatius Jericho, Scourge of Scourge. <laughs> no! Damn. Run around him! Run around him. Run around him! He's slow! To that? Scourge of Scourge. I like that, yeah. Inside, just endless, endless. Oh, yeah. that's true. There's so many people inside endless those. Biomes in there. Endless landscape, right? Yeah. The people left. Oh, uh, yeah. I guess they did whatever with the people, right? <laughs> Passengers. <laughs> 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 just absorb it all. Matter and antimatter, I guess, huh? We 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 accidentally leave one guy. Wait, wait, wait. Where's Jim? Fuck him. Unnatural. <laughs> that's time. I was wondering what time would look like. What's time would look like? <coughs> Probably like her. Huh. Why, it's a play to your ego. Oh, Damn. I to look. Sweet. Eat that little love. Oh. Time's gonna fuck him. Eat him. Good. Will the watch get dropped? Drop the watch. Drop the watch. Drop the watch. Yeah. Yay. 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 So time. Nice look. 
Simon's looks like you. Coach just flipped. Beware of the forces that mass against you. And their master. Master. What do you mean? Master. Don't you. Okay, the three into one. We got that. One thing left undone. I know you're here, Kate. Time ah. to stop hiding. That's the thing left undone. There's... He went to go hunt for Kate. Ah, uh, Vinder gets to kill him? Cool. Open door seven. What's door number seven? <laughs> How many sticks does he have? Can you choke them? Can you choke them both? It's mongooses. <sighs> That'd be uh, great. Giant mongoose eats yeah. a serpent. Oh, it's very cold. Snakes don't like the cold. Uh, well, it's cold mongoose. Ah, oh, shit. It's a fucking asteroid? A tiny ast. A <laughs> There's a door to an asteroid. It's just a boulder. And then they locked it. Oh my gosh. How did Joseph Williamson do this? <laughs> <laughs> he did, he just found it, right? And made doors to it all. You're not staying, any of you. This is my shit. All these people are dead. I feel so bad for them. Yeah, I know. And the rest of the universe, that's not fixed. Right? Russia. Russia's fine. Russia's gone. No, it's not. Russia Russia's is on Earth. It's fine. I like this regeneration. I hope I meet it again. She's a person, not an it. She knows. <laughs> Have a nice evening. You don't work here. <laughs> I thought we could finally get that drink. Do you mind if we don't? Just take me back to yours. I'd better. Mm. Ah. Hey, what? She's not into it or what? Mm. I don't know. Maybe it's too much. Could be. She fucking got abducted into a giant, vast emptiness. Yeah. Like, Saw thousands of people get killed. Need a lift anywhere? Oh, uh, is that just so that he can be a companion? I mean, don't get me wrong. I want this. Right. That sucks. But that was weird. Here you go. Wanna come? Yep. I have no plans. Does she still have the watch? Yeah, she should. It fell. Did you say left or right? He's definitely gonna find the sun. <laughs> and get <Well>, killed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I fell into a pool because it was wet. I fell into a pool. <laughs> <laughs> but there was books in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do we open the watch? Do we not open the watch? Open the watch! Do we leave the watch on the mantle? Leave the watch for next season, maybe? No! Do we watch the watch? Or we we open the watch, watch, watch and it watch, is next watch, season. Watch, watch, watch. Open the watch and it ends? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. That fucking She's sound. hiding it, isn't she? <sighs> She's gonna hide the watch. Don't fucking drop it. Somewhere I can never find it. Hmm. Unless I really ask for it. Mm. Tarzan's like, well, uh, fucking sound! Oh, I said that sooner. Tarzan's like, yeah, you never find it. Let's ask for it. You know, I really thought we were going to reverse some of these things that happened because of the flux, but it doesn't seem like it. That's, that's the plan for next thing or whatever, but isn't, like, most things destroyed right now? I mean, a lot of stuff got destroyed, I think. Like... I don't know if everything did. That's no, not everything. Thing. But, like, because the, they summoned them to the final flux event, right? Which was Earth. Is that to imply that... Well, Earth wasn't, right? Because they went somewhere else other than Earth. Well, Atropos was the final one, I guess, right? Uh, the final flux event. But yeah. But it's, it's one it's, of them, because that's where they, they I, used psychics like... to find where the final thing was, and that was at Earth, right? I thought, like, last episode they said that the flux was converging on Earth. Like, it was designed to be the last, or something. Yeah, I thought or something like that. The flux hit, and that's why the Lupari put their shield on Earth, right? The flux already went past Earth, right? Isn't that what they were blocking it from? Yeah. So where were the Lupari ships at there? Out in space. It's out in space. Yeah, it was just the near location the, of where Near the, the planet time. Like, there was a sure, flux right? event that was going to yeah. occur. And like, that's one of the things, too, is I think... I don't think what it was was an entire just storm just moving across everything i think it was like it would show up like here's an event and it pushes through yeah so i think what they were doing is like we already had the one that went past earth mm -hmm. and the lupari saved it i think the next one was like there was another one occurring that was going to be pushing through this area and they were there to kill all the daleks and cybermen and stuff but yeah they absorbed everything that was left of it and suck it up so that it wouldn't or anything else. Like the Cybermen and the uh, Daleks came here as like a last ditch effort to survive the flux, right? Yeah. I feel it like feels that, like everything should that be gone. implies that like everything's gone, including Russia. Russia's <laughs> not gone. I mean, the continent isn't, no, but I think that it's like 
people it's still in named, It's still named Somtar, isn't it? <laughs> the, we're not going to make new maps. I mean, it, anyway, I'm just... Russia's the joke. Good. My not joke is, like, I feel like billions are dead and gone. I thought that was going to be... like As soon as, like, we saw that the, the swarm can undo stuff, maybe he something was going to be undone, but I don't think so. Sure. So Well, as soon as they freed time, they were going to... Yeah. Use time to reverse and the we're flux. Do it again, and then enjoy the show again. So I yeah. thought, like, all right, well, maybe we'll get to them. All right, we undid it, and then we stopped them. I don't think it happened. Maybe the time thing undid it. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I, I get you though. Like the flux thing is like, well, what is the state of the universe? Because they didn't really talk about that afterwards, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. I tell I, you, the state of of Dan and Di's re- relationship is fucked. I don't understand what happened. I. I don't know how it got there. I don't know. Like, I, I'm i not saying, like, you know. I'm you not know, saying it's impossible. I just wanted to go on a date, and I don't know why she's like, no. And not tomorrow. She just went through a lot. Sure. I get that. Which, I mean, he went through a lot, too. He went through time the slow way yeah, for, well, like, sh- three years. Sure, but he had more time to deal with it. She might not have. I, mean, I don't know what the time span was for her. You know, like when you go she into said passenger, time and space doesn't work the same. Like everything occurred like in a couple days on the Earth, right? From the flux of it occurring, the Centauran showing up, them taking things over, all that kind of stuff. Meanwhile, they all went back in the past, lived through a lot of things, and all that. I feel like that would be more of a shock for Dan because, like, he might have come to terms with, like, well, I'm in the forties. I'm probably just gonna stay here, or the the. Aughts, the noughties. I don't know what you call it. The zeros. I'm not saying like it's bad or doesn't make sense. I just was. I felt like I was missing something, and it's like no, she just she's tired, doesn't want to. Like, okay, but I'm glad that I can go in the TARDIS. I like him. Sure, I'm glad they can stick around. Yeah, I think it's fine. I love Dan. I mean, she can just say no, yeah. right? Sure. Yeah. No. I, I, I don't mean, know. I don't know. She's. I guess I didn't feel like he's it was not cool. entitled to a yes. No. no. I'm, I'm not saying no that. I'm saying that. I just. Are you I telling yourself like she, she should have said yes? No, I'm I don't understand why she said no. I'm saying that if that was the case, maybe it could have been communicated a little bit better. I felt confused in the moment and had to catch up. But that is my criticism of the entire season. <laughs> my only thing was just I was confused about. I guess the flux is a little confusing, but I think the other thing that was confusing for me was Claire. Mm-hmm. I just wasn't sure how that all plays out. I guess. Yep. Just because she like. She showed up in present day, but mm-hmm. when she showed up, she recognized the doctor. And then she's yeah. like, you didn't see me yet. But yeah. then the Weeping Angel showed up, and I thought that the Weeping Angel took her back then to, like, the earlier 1900s. And then she lived there to where she lived here, and then they put her back in present day. She, I don't feel like she lived through the years to be in that day to recognize the doctor. So I'm just curious on, like, why she recognized the doctor. And then it's like, oh, we haven't met yet. Right? Isn't that what she said in the first episode? I, feel I like thought it, so. I feel like that's what she that said. That was her, right? Well, she's also a psychic. So I think I think the last time we I talked about true. this... I I'm not taking in we, the psychic We decided that it, right? it was probably she was having visions of the doctor, and that's why she was like, I, I know you, you're the doctor. Oh, you haven't met me yet. You that makes know. sense. Because they have the psychic element. So if you want to toss that in there, then she could just know it without yeah. the doctor having actually met, without it being time travel shenanigan thingies. When I say that my criticism that is that a sense. lot happened and I was confused and it took a while to make up, I'm not saying nothing makes sense, but I think that in order for me to understand everything, I'm, I think I'm relatively good at understanding things. I feel like I have to have like a flow chart to be able to like really look at everything and be like, all right, this happened because this and this and this and this and this and that's here. And separately, this happened over here and that's there. Like I feel like it's hard for me to truly appreciate everything. Like... There's a lot of things that happen, but we don't get necessarily an explanation for why those things are happening. Some. I feel like Doctor Who explains sometimes. a lot more. Sometimes it doesn't. Like, why were the the, the multiple space-time tears opening up in in the ground? And we never... Us. Yeah, we never got that really explained. I mean... I don't know. It might Joseph, be one of those things where it's just like, that's what was Joseph happening. Was digging, that's what he found when he was digging was this weird anomaly and... <laughs> Yeah. That's just what occurred. As opposed to being like a special... No, I, I feel like normally space-time tears and stuff like that, especially on Earth, like when it happened with Jack and stuff, like the Doctor was on that shit, fixing it, making sure it didn't happen. Generally, generally we have a reason that happened yeah. or a 
something happened and it caused this and we either fix it or seal it off or it seems like it. an emergency in the in the past like if i was maybe. just a balloon i mean running down these are, tunnels like, and shit, i'm just one asteroid gable <laughs> sure <laughs> yeah no i get you uh i don't know i mean we still don't have any information about the grand serpent and what he did and no he was and, a he was a stuff. what was it a he was a dictator well Sure. Well, he we'll, was, yes. But he was a binary demi species. Demi species that conjured snakes, which he has like a, a, a like a primary or a, like a dominant form, and then like a secondary form that like does the snake shit. Yeah, and he really holds personal grudges against he Kate Stewart. Does just her? He went after her. Well, house. he killed everyone else. Her, yeah. She was the one that got away. Yeah, but with everybody else, it was. It's just business. With her, it's like, I'm going to kill you. What do you mean? <laughs> she escaped. Everyone else died. Yeah. You know? And but, she also knew and rubbed it in. She's like, I've got a shield. You can't do shit. This and that and those. And I'm going to get away. And he's like, you know what? Boom, blow you up. I'm like, fuck, she didn't die there. I'm going to get this bitch. You know, that's what he's going through in his head. He's like, I'm going to find her. I'm going to kill her. That's why he's got a vendetta. Everyone else, he just, they, yeah. they die when he wanted them to. I think that's what it is. I don't know if it's, I think it is personal. Because she is like poking at him, being like, "I know, I know you're lying to me. I know you got this. I know you got that." Which is great because I feel like, given her lineage and her work, she should be prepared for weird alien shit. <laughs> you know, like yeah, true. that should be who she is. So I, I feel like that fits out okay. I was so excited to see what time looked like, and they alien contacted me. <laughs> remember contact? And you're like, um, "Oh, we're gonna see the fucking alien." Was, you know? I don't remember. You don't remember that? Turned out, like, she was having, like, a psychic conversation. It was just her dad. It's like, fuck! Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to see what the alien was like. It was bullshit. <laughs> it was bullshit! With <laughs> uh, your no. least favorite alien design. <laughs> you had to see him twice in one shot. Yeah, no. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> and then time said some shit, like, prophecy time. Sure. Which is no more regeneration. This is your last one. You're gonna die. Time's heading to an end. No regeneration, no life, right? That's not master. Yeah. I hear master. I'm like, oh. uh, the something's going to come something and their master. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The things that are after you and their master. Master you know, seemed so. like the... Seemed master. capitalized. Yeah. At least in the subtitles, it was like quoted. Sure. But when he said it, it sounded capitalized. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. Huh? I don't know. That's, what, really that's what my brain feels like. Because there's also stuff like the, you know, obviously we don't, we have no idea what it is, but like the illogical house and... All that stuff sure. and like one of the watch that she like, put away. Yeah, and, the, yeah. Oh, fuck, man. <sighs> I'm always a, I'm a sucker for more information. We didn't have time for that though. I guess. They had, Doctor they runs in through the door one day, mm. grabs the TARDIS console. Is it secret? Is it safe? You told me to hide it forever. That's what I would say if I was a TARDIS. We might see it again, like sometime. Sorry, I was like, expecting your hoodie to be a lot thicker. <laughs> I was fucking, just grabbing skin. He's grabbed skin and fat. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, Jesus, man. He's really method. It's, like, <laughs> it's safe, it's safe. So, I don't know. We'll see maybe no, it's, it's, like, it's, it's comfy. Yeah, when it's comfy. they will do that story. Yeah. Or maybe that's the... I mean, I can't imagine that's going to be like, well, next season she needs to watch now. You know? Like, it's got to yeah. be a... It's got to be like a, a big shit thing that's happening. I feel like it has to be we lead into whatever it is it's going to be your time's coming to an end kind of thing. Sure. And now we need to watch and then we learn something yeah. else and then maybe we can stop the event from occurring or something, you know? I don't know. In Rick and Morty, this would be a petty argument that the doctor would have to win by getting their memory back and proving that they had never done something or that they had in the past. I definitely get wanting your character to doubt and not... Maybe I don't want to know this and stuff. But as a viewer, I want to know all that. It's so frustrating, frustrating to see a character make that choice and me be like, "No," you know? Yeah, it's like it's like dangling a carrot in front of us, saying, "It's like, ooh, there's some really cool like stuff were, here." Well, the things too. If you were watching Lost, it's like, "Hey, everything you want to know about Lost is right here." Huh? They're in the ocean. I'm like, "Ah, you idiot!" But if it's like, "Hey, everything you need to know is here." But you can't have it. I'm keeping it from you. Then, as an audience person, I'm like, right there sure. too. I want to know, but you know, we got to strive and we got to fight and fuck that guy, you know. But right now, I'm feeling like fucking doctor. I don't want to feel that way. I wonder if it's a thing where, like, because you know, even from Q and A's and stuff, we've had people where it's like people that like the idea of this timeless child and mm-hmm. it's interesting and they're curious where it's going, and then people who are like, what? They're fucking up the doctor? What do you mean? There's before the first doctor and you know that kind of stuff too. So <laughs> having this where it's like, well, here's something we can touch on later, but yeah. we haven't. We haven't dove into that yet. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe they're like... I mean, it still makes sense that, that that's the know. first Doctor, right? Because the Doctor wasn't the Doctor before the Doctor. Sure. 
I mean, I want to know about the there's the Lupari. Yeah. Uh, no Carvanista, who has no, no, no. There is. You mean there back is the a Lupari thing. who yeah. had the story beat, but he's like, I'll die in three seconds if I tell you what yeah, happened. Poison, yeah. He used to be a companion, apparently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, you were just coming in and out of my life like nothing happened. It's yeah. another convenient so, way of saying some really cool stuff we could tell you, but we won't. But for the aspects of the Lupari, yes, I That's like their addition. They came out of nowhere, and then they killed them all. <laughs> and I was like, damn All it. but one. So he had to live out his, his sad, terrible, lonely life. And we went from Dan being like, hey, hey, doggy, let's go, ha, ha, to like, he lost his entire people. Without like him learning that and stuff, I just found him yeah. like, man, that felt insensitive. And it, now he is sensitive. But I didn't, I didn't see any connection there, so I just felt yeah. weird about it. Sure. It's like, I get it. He looks like a dog. We got that. It might have been... I feel so bad for him. It might have needed, like, another episode or two to breathe a little bit more, maybe. Maybe. Like, this last one was, like, very quick. Yeah. It did you feel know? very quick, especially like, with the editing style that they used to, like, to do the, the switching back and forth between the three doctors. The three it was doctors. It was very choppy sure. at times. But, like, I liked... I like some of the ideas with it and stuff. And I liked, you know, the Centauran eating chocolate and stuff. Like, that kind of stuff was fun. Yeah. I liked it. <laughs> but maybe you could have had a little bit more kind of in there where it wouldn't have been so quick, I guess. But you also don't want it to be, like, drug out, I guess. Yeah. So, like, all the Daleks and Cybermen are dead, right? I mean, you say and that, Centaurs. but what the hell does that mean? They've been dead. They've all been dead. Yeah. Five times each. They've been <laughs> trapped in, like, pocket dimensions and then released. They came They've from another universe at one point or something. Alternate universes and released. They've been recloned and remade. They've been remade. They've been merged with human DNA. All you're They've telling all me is don't, don't care what happened. It does. Time travel <laughs> shenanigans change everything all the time. Wibbly wobbly. They're going somewhere they don't know. You know what's going to happen? They're going to go back in time or in the future or something. There's going to be some planet that's still there because the flux didn't happen yet or will happen in the future again or something. Tiny whiny. It won't matter. There's going to be a ship out there if that's with the answer, truck full of Daleks that didn't have a transmitter that they were like, hey, this one Dalek ship, we need you to come to this planet at this time. And they're like, oh, we don't know where it is because our transmitter's broken. They're just going to be there perfectly safe. I feel, and I don't feel this way because I've watched Doctor Who for 13 seasons now and I enjoy it. But I feel like if that's the answer, why the fuck am I watching it? <laughs> it doesn't matter. If, if that doesn't matter, well, I shouldn't care if it was the first Doctor, if there was a million Doctors before. Who cares? That's kind of where I'm at. But I'm going to say, like, the main thing is the, the characters and the stories yeah. that they have individually. Like, that Dalek and that Cyberman are dead. But there will be more. There always are more. There's billions of Cybermen and Daleks now, that are now dead. The Centaurans will probably come back because they're also cloned. <laughs> so, I don't know. But, and Weeping Angels can do some weird quantum shit and whatnot, so they probably just lock themselves in a safe flux quantum realm or some shit. I don't know yeah. what they do. So we can probably get them back too. Sounds they're dead. No, wait, they're on Earth. They might be okay. I don't know. Sure. <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. found one thing. One thing. They're dead. No, they're not. Yeah, they might be, they might be okay. <laughs> well, but no. I mean, it's, they rushed it. It's just a thing. Even if we went back in time, yeah. Then you find Cybermen in a previous time before the flux hit. You mm-hmm. still have them. And then you do something, and you mess something up, and then one Cyberman went off somewhere else and didn't get hit by the flux, and now he just makes a whole new army, and they're all back. Again. I thought of a race that are dead. The Lupari. There's one. You don't know how they reproduce. Sure. But you can get get wet after midnight or something. But we can go back in time and find some more in the somewhere. Maybe. Get one girl Lupari, bring it back to uh, Carvanista, and here you go. Make more Lupari. And then all of a sudden you just got four new Luparis running around, you know, nipping at Dan's heels. Or, I guess, Vinder and Bells or whatever. That's where they went. They're going to have to catch up a lot. Like, where were the humans when the Lupari were in trouble? Isn't that like a, you come when we need you, and you'll come when we need you? No, no, they're the best friends. They're the companions. They show up and protect it's, us. It's bullshit. We just feed them. We didn't feed them shit. Well, they should have told us they were hungry. The Vendor and Bell stuff, I don't know, I thought that was fine. I don't think there was too much there where it was like, huh? It was just very like, I'm looking for her. Yeah. She's looking for him. They went through the universe looking for each other. I did feel like it was fine. But I did feel like there's not a lot of time to do everything. Sure. So if I was going to cut something, it'd probably be that. I feel like that's the thing. If I lost, it wouldn't affect much other than just like the plan at the end. That was fine. But I, could, just, I felt like there was 
way too much in a short amount of time, so I'm in my head, like, almost trying to edit. Like, what do I, I cut mean, out? You could essentially cut out Jerrica. Probably, yeah. I mean, if, anything, if you just had I her like... find Claire, and then you did some Weeping Angel stuff, instead sure. of doing that yeah. kind of psychic-y thing and whatever, like, yeah, you don't just necessarily... have her track her back in time to wherever yeah. she landed. You don't need Jericho to help doing shit with yeah. her or whatever, and then you don't really need him to be on the psychic link with her as well. You could just yeah. have her do it. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't essentially need him, really. And you, you had Dan him. and Yaz running around together, so... We do that. We get rid of my favorite episode of the season, which is the... No, I'm not saying you get rid of the episode. You just don't have a minute. <laughs> but it was my favorite because of him. But then there was the, uh, I mean, you also lose the, the Tigney baby. I, I know of another character of that we could and lose Bell. and it wouldn't change anything. Azure. Yeah. You could just have Swarm. I don't know why you had to have Azure. I, I feel like Bell. having them both it makes it weird and there, like... There may be a reasoning to it all. I don't know. Like, we don't really know what happened. We don't know why they were in prison. You know, like, there's... Sure. That's, that's she the, wasn't in prison. She was just hanging out in the Arctic with the guy. That's yeah, true. we don't know why that was either. Yeah. Oh, man. She was you just know? waiting. Like, we don't know why. Like, that's gotta be future stuff or watch stuff where it's like, well, why were they imprisoned? Like, what if those two were the actual parents of the timeless child and the division to protect it all and to hide everything took her memories and imprisoned these two people and then they're angry at him because they were all doing it all or something you know and it's like mm-hmm. weird revenge and why were they torturing their baby well they don't it's not anymore i don't know at some point you gotta draw a line you're dead now huh or they're just bad you you push the baby birds out of the nest you don't torture them yeah but what if they weren't ready calvin figure that if it was their then you child <laughs> and they knew about it they would have said like like we're sacrificing our own child to you time they said they're sacrificing the timeless child sure but I don't know that's just a random tossing out like trying ah, to ah like, that's what it they... is they went there to free time they left their timeless the timeless child is their child they died I mean they oh, left their timeless together. put that in the trash thank you Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it says about ego klaxon. What is that? The klaxon sound, is a horn. That sounds so familiar. It's like tooting your own horn. It's like, ah, oh, this guy's got an ego over here. <laughs> oh, okay. Is that yeah. what he was doing? I'm like, I've heard of like, <laughs> klaxon sounds familiar, but I'm not sure what it was. And then yeah. she said ego klaxon. I'm like, what is ego it's the, klaxon? That's the Ewok. Mm, mm, it's you, that kind of horn. Why do you keep saying ang? I didn't oh. think he's the Ewok. Didn't you say out. ang? Yeah, I understood that one. Yeah. That one's a good that's one. That's not a klaxon. And that's sampled from a movie called uh, Take a Mammoth, I think. No, it was sampled from a movie called uh, This is a Klaxon. No. no. I thought you were Googling klaxon sound. Here, I have to get it for you now. I don't, I don't need a klaxon sound, Calvin. Klaxon is like Kleenex. It's a brand of siren. Look what our discussion has devolved into. Should that be on us or on the show? I mean, we do this with tons of shows. True. Some of those shows are really good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm getting ready for Q and A. Q and A's. Because there's a, there's this was the finale. Little... We yeah, this done. was the last one of it. Mm. I wanted to feel differently at the end of the finale. I want to be like, oh, now I, I don't feel like, eh, but I do feel like, huh. It ended with still several questions that I have, and it yes. didn't answer a lot of stuff. So like, it's one of those things where like, I feel like most other seasons, like when you got to the end of like David Tennant's seasons, or yeah. even like, I mean. Eccleston didn't really have a ton of questions yeah. building into it, right? But, like, there was, like, the cracks with Matt Smith and yeah. stuff. And by the end of it, you're like, okay, I get what was going on now. Or you had David Tennant and introduced River. And as you go through, as you learn more and more, you figure out what River is. But it yeah. also wasn't, like, that wasn't the core of the season, no. you know? Like, there was yeah. more intertwined. This one like had a lot intertwined. And it's yeah. like, well, we answered some stuff. We did. But I also didn't answer some other stuff. None of the yeah. stuff that I wanted answers to. And now it feels like we're going to go have adventures in the ashes of the... The in flux. the ashes, in the ashes of the flux, which is just whatever's left over. Yeah, which could still be huge. I mean, the universe is gigantic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Well, yeah. It's, we, there's no it's way it's infinite. We can't fathom. Right? How big is the universe? If we lost half the universe, how much is left? How deep is your love? It's still a significant loss. It, I mean, I guess, but I don't know what we lost. So yeah, it's not. I, right? I guess in you our know? ignorance, we can yeah. celebrate that. Yes. Yeah. I mean, but that's not. Right now, that's someone, not great for the other. Right half. now, someone just cut down and killed a tree. How do you feel? I mean, a tree or a sentient life form that had family and well, loved some, ones. Well, not and... every planet's going to be a sentient life form. No. Right now, someone just died. How do you feel? I mean, I'm, just, I mean, I'm sure I'm sad just for just them. Now. Yeah, just now. Yeah. So right now, someone was born. How do you feel? Like, I don't feel any different. Like, I don't know. Sure. I get you. Like, there's, there's... Like, I don't feel any... Like, how will I feel after I'm dead versus how I felt before I was born? I'm yeah. just going to be relatively the same. Who knows? But I still f- feel like I would mourn the 
loss of half the universe. I will tell you that I, as a human, am incapable of comprehending what that loss means. Yeah. And trying to do so, I would use up the rest of my life in trying to understand it and not fully processing it. So it's a waste of my time. I feel like no, I get whenever you. like you're a parent and you say like there's a starving child in Africa, you should eat this. You guys are like, hey, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. No, but like you know, we've went, we've been going through a yes. pandemic recently, and yeah. there's been so many people have died. Before. Million, like, man, that yeah. sucks. You know, like yeah. I need to be careful for me, my family, and that. Yes. But like, how much time do you spend like mourning and being like all the people who have died that I don't know over uh, the whole earth? You know. Yeah, I mean, like, I guess a big number and stuff, but yeah, also like I, suppose, I look at like more personal. I feel like sure, you I, know what I mean. I I definitely get you. I didn't personally know all of those billions that are dead, but no, I still think you it's don't even a know shame. half the universe. I still, well, sure, I think it's a shame that <laughs> yeah. some people have died from a you know a pandemic. But of course, there's like that there's that line of like the effect of like what you know and can feel versus like that's just a big number and that really sucks. Uh huh. But I don't know how you mourn it at the same time. You know what I mean? Do you get what I mean? No. I mean, I think I like, do. Like, what did you do for all the people that died on Earth? You know what I mean? Like... I, I will say that there's a difference between people dying of old age. That's natural. You know, that there's a difference there between something that's preventable. Yeah. Yeah, sure. When all the Lupar died, I was incredibly sad. And that's why I felt like it was incredibly tone deaf to have him be like, Hey, doggy, come on! Sure. You know, I was like, well, that's... But, and that's because I didn't know all of those Lupar. That's yeah. I mean, I'm not... But you also had a connection. You were sad for the one dude who we've had a connection with who was like, you know, you're just gonna fucking... Yeah, I, come I on, empathize doggy, with his know? loss. Yeah. I empathize, I empathize with Vinder's loss as well. Like, his entire planet was destroyed. Mm-hmm. We got to see that, or the remnants of it. Did we? Got to see all the... Yeah. Which planet was his? The doctor dropped him off there and was like, yeah, I'll, I'll find my way. Oh, was that his planet that he was on? Yeah. I thought they just dropped him off on a planet. Like he's no, like, I'm, I'm, pretty, sh- I'm pretty sure that was his planet. I mean, he was, that's where he was he, looking he was for That's Bell. where he started he to, his search for He Bell. went to like four planets or whatever. Yeah, but that's where he started. Okay. I don't know. There's just like a line where I feel like it's really hard to like comprehend when you get too big. Like I think it's easier to mourn like something more personal, oh, local, yeah. closer. That's why I was saying like... You know, like, Humans can't even really comprehend yeah. the number a I million. I don't like, get it's your old, many. old age reference, but huh? I, I understand that. I didn't get the old age thing why you brought that into the situation, but I get what you mean where it's like, it just well, gets I mean, too big, like, it doesn't make sense. The people who die all around the world every day, like that's a natural part of life beginning, coming to an end. What I was saying is like, that's normal, everyday thing, but like half a billion people being wiped out in an instant or whatever. Or, sorry, sure. half, half the population being wiped out in an instant. That's something significantly worse. Like, even the snap from, like, Marvel yeah. is, like, that hits far and close, both. You mm-hmm. know, you get both of those. But yeah, I half feel of like, everyone that you know or I feel yourself. like the doctor would probably be more sad and mournful of what all occurred here. But I don't know if, like, anyone on Earth or most people on Earth, you know, you and then a say. lot of the other people would necessarily feel that. Maybe if you're a Russian, you would feel differently. There are tons of Russian. Here it is. Tons. What are you doing? All right. Uh, for Q&As, we have Ollie, who said that was insane. There was a lot to conclude, and it seemed yeah. to race through everything. Yeah. A few new questions were added, and foreshadowing regeneration has begun. Actually, yeah. foreshadowing no regeneration has also begun. So The statement of no regeneration. Um, what was your favorite moment in the finale, and what questions do you still want answered? Um, the Scourge of the Sap Scoundrels is my favorite moment. <sighs> that was, was really like good. Jericho's thing. Yeah. Sure. His, like, um, autobiography. I wish I would made that autobiography. Yeah. I like the chocolate scene, too. Chocolate. <laughs> the chocolate was weird. <laughs> and then just, uh, I thought that the visual effects of the three armies in space being consumed was quite really effective. Good. Yeah. There's so many. Yep. Like, ah, yeah. oh, there's dollar chips. Oh, there's yeah. seven ships. That was good. Um, question wise, is more so like the history of the doctor. We kind of talked about a few other things and stuff as we've been kind of talking here and there. Mm-hmm. Like, I wanted to like make sure I was clear on Claire. I think the the psychic thing makes the most sense of that. Um, and I guess just the state of the universe would be a good one too. Of like, what did the flux consume and what didn't it? Like, yeah. to what extent? Like, it, in some of the cutscenes, it showed planets being ripped apart, like, completely, like, blowing up and shit like that. But then we've 
also seen a bunch of planets like Vendors, for instance, or the one that I am assuming is Vendors that was just like destroyed, but it was still a sphere. And then that other one that that one guy was on, it was like a part of a planet that was floating in space. Like, I wonder how much of that is still out there. Which guy was standing on a part of the planet? Um, when was it the guy who didn't want to get who wanted to get in the passenger? Who wanted to get in the passenger, but then was he not still on the planet him. though, or was it just part? It of It was planet? like a, a fracture of a planet. Because see, that it was, was like that paradise planet. That was one thing too. Is like some of those places did seem like, oh man, it, they, they've been destroyed because of the flux and stuff. But it was still like, well, there's a planet here. So yeah. what did the flux do? I guess. Yeah. Or did it not hit this place and people were running because Flux was doing stuff yeah. and they were escaping because they were scared? Or, or maybe it was further away from where the Flux event originated and as it spread out, it got weaker. Sure. So it still, like, destroyed a planet, but it didn't, like, tear it well, apart. Well, they established, like, more matter, slows it down, yeah. takes it more, so it kind of gets absorbed. I guess the questions would be the watch stuff and, like, what are we missing from the Doctor? Like, mm-hmm. Swarm and Azure and, like, why was she in the Arctic as a woman and then end up being an alien or whatever? What was Swarm? Why was the imprisoning? And what did the Doctor have to do with it? What was you know? he? Where did he come from? So it's, it's more of like motivation? the Doctor's history and the flux, I think, are the two bigger questions, I suppose. Yeah, because it seemed like he was just a real bad guy who was doing bad shit and then got imprisoned for it and was butthurt because he got imprisoned for the bad shit that he was doing. So he broke out and started doing bad shit to pay the people back for imprisoning him for doing the bad shit. Andre from Earth 8096 says, Would you like to have seen Claire or anyone else become a full-time companion? And if not, do you think we will see them again? Claire would be interesting. I'm really glad that we still have Dan and uh, Carvinista. He, I think he would be a fun companion as well. I would have liked, the, I don't know, the final Lupar. What else is he doing? Yeah. It's going to pack to go back to, you know? Yeah. Carvinista. Yeah. Oh, is that his name? Yeah, I think that's his. Okay. That's his name, and he, he's a Lupari. Lupari. Yeah, Joseph Williamson, a hundred percent. Just have him come in. He was, he was a felt like amazing character. character. I did feel like he screamed into every scene he was in. Like what? I loved it, and then he just like meekly walked out. No, oh, okay. Well, there's nothing for me to do now, ma'am. See you, ma'am. Ma'am. I don't know. I felt very lackluster for how much I enjoyed him this season. Mm-hmm. But he's also a historical thing. They're like, ah, oh, you got stuff to do. You got to make sure you do it. Yeah, you, right. you got to finish building these tunnels that, <laughs> that don't exist right without you. <laughs> yeah, you'll be remembered in history as a madman. Uh, Famous Noodles says thoughts on Doctor Who Flux as a whole, and what would you like to see in specials next year? I felt like it was if you're going to do a six episode season, it needs to the scale needs to come down. I thought it was huge, too too much, too big, too much going on. To be with the, the handle, yeah. and I, I felt like it was big even for a sixteen episode season. I think you could do 10. I think it could have worked. You, I think, you I, could. I think it would have breathed. If, if it better. had been like a normal Doctor Who season and they would have just... Because those have been like 10 episodes or so late. Yeah, have they only like, been 10? Uh, I mean, they usually were only like 13 like they were like or 16, so. But no, yeah, um, you're, I, th- I think you're right. Last season was... Season 12 was 10. Okay. And then we had episode 13, 0, whatever, I guess. And then uh, season 11 was 11... I mean, I think Doctor Who succeeds when it has smaller stories. I'm not saying it can't do big stories, but I felt like as an audience member myself, my experience wasn't necessarily being led down a path to look at the story so much as, like, drugged by the neck on the back of a car. (laughs) That's kind of how I felt like definitely the beginning of the season and less so as we got there, but still kind of felt that, like, uh, I I was struggling to keep up. Sure. Sure. Like, the very first episode introduced a lot. Yeah. Man, what was all this but stuff? But then even, then like... you touched on other things throughout for yeah. a few episodes, and then you got back to everything all back together again. Yeah, but even things that aren't, like, gigantic, mysterious, world-ending, universe-ending, changing the entire, you know, structure of the show, like Claire at the end, I, even then I felt like, wait, what happened? She's just not? Okay, all right. I don't know. I, I, I as an audience member, I just felt like I was always rushing to catch up. You were some tarn to catch up. Some tarn. I'm not, and I'm not saying it's not like necessarily the, uh, the show's fault. Maybe I'm just bad at it, or maybe I just felt exhausted from everything else. That little things like that also. That wouldn't normally which, have been exhausted. Which yeah. little things? Also, what, what did Claire do? Like when she just like just like nah and left up the oh, stairs. Okay, um, Diana. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Die. 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 Okay. Yeah, die. Die, Claire. Die. Gotcha. Not yeah. Claire. Die. When you first said, I'm like, what did Claire do? No, so not that's Claire. why I wanted to make sure. Okay, so yeah, I get you. Diana being like, yeah. I don't want to. Yeah. She's like, eh. She, it, I guess it seemed so. like she was blaming him for something that she See, that's what assumed. I, that's what I thought, and then I thought, like, that's ridiculous, so no. She just, eh, not, not tomorrow either. I was like, all right. What all was said there? So does she just mean, like, maybe just not during the time that you want like, we'll see. I think she's just saying, like, is it okay if we don't get that drink tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And he's like, well, you know, I wasn't late. And he's like, well, maybe not tomorrow. Yeah. Like, I mean, and if he's going on a time machine, you can just come back and try again. Yeah, that time. always works. You know? Yeah. But that's never failed. I don't know. I feel like she's like, I've been through a lot. I'm not doing it tomorrow. Yeah. I was going to go on a date with you. Last time I was going to go sure. on a date with you, I ended up getting no. stuck inside. Watching of it a second time, thing. it makes more sense. But like I said, I felt like I was being drug on other things, and maybe I just yeah. was exhausted as a watcher by this point. I felt like the first time I watched it, she blamed him more for like the more, shit that happened that interfered with their date night rather than... Which is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> what? It felt like she was getting hung up on that he was late. Yeah. And he was trying to convince her that he wasn't late. Mm-hmm. He didn't you, get hung up. Do you mean the conversation before this? Or yeah. you mean this conversation? The conversation before this and this conversation. It seemed uh-huh. like he kept trying to convince her that he wasn't late. That that's what she was holding against him. I mean, she was happy to see him. But also, yeah. like, she had gone through a lot of shit. And that was, like, a familiar face, you know? Where she hadn't recognized anyone else so far. Sure. And then she was like, you were late. I was like, no, I wasn't. The dog did it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then we didn't talk about it again until right here, so I don't know. And then, I don't know, she's just very, like, done. What are you doing here? I don't know. Very, like... Kind of cold. It's kind of cold. I don't know. Yeah. But I'm not saying she has to be warm. I just huh? hit against the wall. This is what you did last time. She's like, you can't be doing this. You're not a museum worker. Yeah. You just come in here and start talking to people. Well, I know what he's talking about. Hey. And he didn't give it up. He still said, like, he we don't know. He knows more about the Williamson Tunnels yeah. than anybody else in right? there. Including her. They should put his walk in this museum. He they should. Was barely it saved the earth. He was barely in the tunnels. He knows more about the Williamson Tunnels than anybody else in that building. Alive. Including her. I W J C O two. That could be an L. Maybe that's not an I. Could be. Not sure. Maybe. Better the series had too much going on and didn't give me time or information to care about any 100 plot points or characters. A bit disappointing. My question is: Do you think the master? with a subtle hint of their return, will come back with a new regeneration or not. So, are they hinting at the Master, and if so, will it be... Shh. I, mean, I definitely feel like last... Dang, what's his name? Caesar? Davos. <laughs> Talked about Davos guy. Some with an S. Like, Sasha... Sash Something. Can't I forget. Okay. I'm gonna say, I definitely feel like when we saw the Master last, it was implied that he died, but it was shot like he escaped. Well, he was trapped in, like, right. hell. He, he went into, right? like, another dimension place, right? Yeah. I guess they took him into that one place or something? It was whenever he created the Time Lord Cybermen, right? Yeah. That's the last time we saw him with the whole Thomas Child stuff. And then, like, we thought, like, oh, he's dead. But I feel like it was shot where it's obviously, like, well, no, he's not. Because the one old guy showed up with a bomb thing, yeah. right? As you're saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, it blew up, but so. I don't know. I mean, it's possible he has another regeneration, I guess. Yeah. I, mean, I quite like the actor that played him last. Me too. I, like I don't know how many times he's regenerated. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. there's two in Classic Who, I think. Mm-hmm. And then there's the movie. Yeah. And then there's the old guy. Mm-hmm. And then there's that guy's name that was yeah. Prime Minister. And then there was Missy. Saxon. Right? That's yeah. at least six, right? Is there any in between and, and, this, and Missy? And this other guy. Davros from Iron Fist. Yeah, yeah. that's who I was trying to think Davos. of. Davos. Was it Davos? Yeah. Davros, Davros is the is bad guy from here. <laughs> I was trying to say that it wasn't Davos, like from Game of Thrones. <laughs> but, but it, it is. is. <laughs> Sacha Dawan. Dawan? Da- Dawan? I was da- like, it's like S A. He was in Sacha. that uh, Doctor Who real life special. He played like a director or producer or something? Mm-hmm. Doctor Who real life special? Are you talking about pop, pop, pop? That guy? Yeah. He was in that? Okay. Yeah, in that one. He was like um, the crew guys. Kenoy says, do you think this season was too short for the plot that they threw at us? Yep. Yeah. Thought you were going to do this. You got to do it longer if you're going to 
do six episodes, maybe a smaller scale story. Uh, Paul says, I've had a few issues with this season pacing-wise, but I have to congratulate the production team for even managing a show like this, uh, like this, limited by COVID guidelines. Yeah. What has been your favorite finale so far? And see you all for the New Year's special, hopefully. Oh, New Year's special. So hopefully. we'll have another one like this in I don't think there's been one announced, but I think they're saying hopefully. Because oh, usually yeah. they do like a Christmas, Christmas or, New Year's, or kinda... New Year's. They've shied away from Christmas lately and been doing New Year's specials. Interesting. Because this started out like a Halloween thing. Yeah. Favorite finale of like all of Doctor Who, maybe? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, it's got to be the remember. it's got to be the one where it was Jack showed up and Sarah Jane showed up. Like I, that one was so great. Yeah, with the lost earth, the and forbidden stuff. or the the forgotten earth or something like yeah, that. I, I think like that's the lost earth or that's something along pretty those lines. Yeah, that one was and um, really good. That name of the doctor. I don't know if it was a finale or not. No, it wasn't. I don't think it was. But see, that would have been what season four. Yeah, but that was a uh, long time ago. That was a cool moment. Yeah, the Stolen Earth and Journey's End. Stolen That's Earth. What That's what yeah. it was. Yeah, because they put Earth Which, in like the middle of a bunch of planets, right? Honestly, that whole segment there, because you had that, mm-hmm. and then we went into like a special mm-hmm. kind of thing, which was David Tennant's last stuff yeah. that then he regenerated into Matt Smith and stuff. So like that whole segment there was just really good, because I love yeah. that. And then what they did with like the the... They're like trying to merge like the Earth and Gallifrey, make a new Gallifrey mm-hmm. and stuff. That's right. There were some really good things with that. Elliot just said, "Will the show ever be good again?" Hmm. I don't know if it was. I don't know if it was bad. I think it was just yeah. rushed. I don't know. There's things I liked in this, and there's also things I didn't like. like I mean, it wasn't like. I don't feel like this like I did with like. Titans. Sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's. Things that make sense. Oh, yeah. Then there's something that don't. With that one, a lot of it was just like, what are we doing? Yeah. You know? This is a million times better than that Home, <coughs> home Alone movie. You've seen it? <laughs> Eric really doesn't like it. Oh, I hate it so much, Calvin. <laughs> is it like... Uh, I don't think I ever do- dislike something is more than that. Doolittle? Oh, no. Doolittle's real bad. Bloodshot? <laughs> no, it makes way more sense than Doolittle. <laughs> okay. But Bloodshot. Wasn't that the other one you quit? Like, there was a streak of movies that you watched, Bloodshot. and you just stopped it, like, partway through each of these movies. I watched all of Home Alone. Yeah, I know. But, like, there was a streak where you had, like... Bloodshot and, like, there's other thing you're talking about. I feel like, uh, are... They make... There's right decisions, and then there's poorly made. But I feel like this one was actually made well. Just the right decisions were dumb. Sure. And, like, antithetical to what they were trying to do. It's not the review of Home Alone. Oh, you're talking about Home Alone or Doctor Who? Oh, yeah. No. Uh, Home Alone. Home Alone. I feel like it was made well, but all the right decisions, I hate it. Benny and the Jess says, Happy Dan is sticking around. Me too. Thought the series had a bit much going on at times. Mm. Like, I was happy with the backstory for Vendor, but don't, uh, don't think Grand Serpent was particularly necessary, and neither was making Diane integral to anything. She was a bit, uh... She was a bit randomly knowledgeable and useful in the end for some random for some rando that we met in episode one to give Dan a bit more depth and lots of solutions to problems where Doctor does a Doctor thing we don't really get, but it works. But it was pretty fun, and I enjoyed it. Well. <coughs> Honestly, yeah, I think that Diane really didn't have too much there. You could have just... If, if that wasn't going to be a reason for him not sticking around with the Doctor, you could have had him just kind of do his thing yeah. and not have this be a, a point... Like, you no. could have had just another doctor appear somewhere instead of three doctors. You know, switching between those, just had a fourth, and somehow made it into Passenger mm-hmm. to, yeah, like, I figure out the, the step I, thing. I personally feel like if you want to tell the story and only have six episodes, you could have done it a lot more efficiently without so much going on at the same time. Yeah. I feel like efficiency is, like, the key word. And it's some of the best storytelling is storytelling that does it efficiently but it's Doctor Who it can't be simply no because it has to be sometimes it it has to be so crazy and convoluted to be able to be like yep okay sure sure I give up <laughs> tell me what happens like, <laughs> like you can't make sense of it because it's yeah. not physical M. Therick Zayad says the Centaurans plan and the fact that it almost worked if not for the Doctor oh, reminded okay. me of you, your guys' poll from a few episodes ago yeah. about who would win between Centaurans, Daleks, and Cybermen and how Centaurans got the lowest poll option. They did. They got the, they outscored They're the underdog. The Although I did say Centaurans. Pretty sure. I, I was trying to think I think you did but I was trying to think like is that 
I guess that's acceptable to them because it is like a military play out as opposed to of a it's of a, a strategy matter, as, a, as, a, as, a, as opposed to like a matter of strength or domination it was a military decision strategy that mm-hmm. worked out so I guess it's acceptable to them but mm-hmm. yeah that's the only like, thing I'd, I hate said, to, I'd hate to win that way during that poll that was one <laughs> thing I had said too where I was like I feel like the Sakaarans know war and would yeah. have a good strategy to fight it mm-hmm. whereas like a lot of the Cybermen and Dalek things are kind of like they come in and they just push in and they're so strong and powerful that they would yeah. they would destroy it. But the Centaurans, I figure, would know like these are who we're fighting. Mm-hmm. We have to make sure we're prepared for yeah. whatever, you know. Yeah. Ross Max says the thirteenth doctor's impending end felt like when the tenth doctor had his impending end told to him. Agreed. What did you think of the final episode of the series and what did you think of having three thirteenth doctors in the episode? I was uh, still less confused than I was all the other episodes, I would say. I honestly kind of like the idea of, like, the Doctor can be in... Because there was so much going on, mm-hmm. anyway. Having the Doctor in all three locations. Yeah. And that's that, one of the that things. Is like, there was so much going on, they had to split the Doctor into three yeah. to be able to make sure that you could have everything moving I, along. You I know? think it's telling of stuff I don't like about this season that that was perfectly, in my opinion, filmed, edited... And communicated to me what was going on. I never once felt lost because of that. Sure, and that's a very high concept to think about. All the other stuff that I'm like, I don't know the fuck. I don't. I don't know. Like, was a failure as that was a success. So I would keep that and lose some other stuff. Sure. So apparently, from Apple Days AXA says that there's specials coming and that they have been announced. So it looks like the remaining questions may be answered in hmm. future specials. What are your highlights from Doctor Who Flux? And with what's coming next, what would you like? The three specials airing next year, apparently New Year's, Easter, and Centenary specials to show. Okay, so we'll have three specials, not like a season? No. Okay. Sounds like they're going to do according to this person, which I have no other information otherwise. I think specials work the best when they are one-off stories, so I, I don't know if I want it to continue, but now I feel like it has to because of so many questions. I don't know. I would say that, but we did get some Clara stuff in a special. Sure. Well, we also had um, David Tennant's end was in a special, mm-hmm. which was aired. Man, were they aired back to back? How many episodes was that? I forget. But that segment there was in a special. It wasn't in a season either. Yeah. And that was also passing the torch to another doctor, too, yeah. in the middle of that, you know? Like he regenerated. So, I don't know. I mean,. I, so three the, specials. The thing I don't know, though, is I don't see, given what we had here, I can't imagine within the next three episodes, she's like, I need that watch now, you know? Given that we just had to hide it in the TARDIS. Sure. So I don't but, think we're going to get those kind of answers. But maybe the Master will get to it, and then it'll be a thing like, I have your memories, or maybe the Master wants to take the memories so that they can learn about the Timeless Child or, or whatever. I don't know. But yeah. it's still there as like a, a gun on the mantle, cookie on the shelf, whatever you want to call it. Uh, cookie on the shelf? Yeah. Is that a thing? It's a thing. Okay. Um, cookies all over my shelves. Is it? Is it an elf? No. Like is the elf named no. Cookie? Oh no. Don't be ridiculous. Because there's an elf on the, the shelf. Elves make the cookies. No. But there's an elf on the shelf. And the the trees. Named cookies, the trees. The trees. I make shelves out. Terminate the elves. They eat the cookies. Adam says so. Vendor and Bell were basically useless characters in this. Is that right? Chib Null killed off the only likable character in these six episodes, Jericho. I thought the Doctor was going to reverse the flux and fix everything, but is there a ton of universe that's still wiped from existence in? Hey, you fit all my talking points into one Q&A. <laughs> I wouldn't say that Jericho is the only likable character, though. No. I think that's extremely unfair. I, yeah, I think... No, I, I, I agree. I, agree. I, I don't think that they're totally useless... I feel like... That is the first thing I would Well, say. I mean, the one was a pilot that was helping at the end with the Centaurans. Yeah. I feel like they're not essential, but I don't think that they're useless. Like, they, some of them had information about things that were going on. They were helping out with the plan and stuff like that. It's not like they all just stood around. Sure. I mean, Bell did a secret mission while the other two were being captured and stuff. Yeah. Like, there were uses and stuff that they did for him and stuff. It's just that most of their story was those two were trying to get together. Like, that yeah. was the core of what they were trying to get, you know? Yeah. I think what they mean instead of useless is just, like, if you were to pluck any one story thread out, what's the one that would affect the story the least? Honestly, I think Jericho is one of those. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, if we need the whole psychic thing, right? Like, Bell and Vendor didn't really, like, have that utilization other than just, like, pressing buttons. Sure. And being bodies. But Claire was the psychic, though. Yeah, but he was, like, the one that was, like, there for her developing that thing so they could do it, right? Sure, I suppose. I mean, he was but... studying her. He wasn't really developing her. I think right? he could have also had the Weeping Angels showing up with her yeah. in the house back living in the old days. Sure, and, and then so I guess just my through, enjoyment you know? of it, like, I feel like I enjoyed him more than those two characters as well. I like so. Lupari. Mm-hmm. I like Garvanista. I thought that was good. Mm-hmm. Um, I think maybe the one that you don't need the most is probably Die. I think. Like, sure. I don't think there's a whole lot with her that you really need to it, do. In the scene where she was explaining to Vendor about how the the floor noodles worked, I can't remember what she called them, but the, the organic and mechanical system that, like, generated the environment and, like, mm. kept it stable and everything, like, I don't know how she knew that that's how that worked. Sure, because he was like, like you she... should teach this course that I had to take in space. Yeah. <laughs> right? She works in a museum. I don't know that her specialty is quantum physics. Sure. You know, a lot of people are asking about the universe, like what the state the universe is in right now. Yeah. Even River Becca was like, I've, first I'm asking, even if I've been watching for a while, but has the universe been fixed or is half of it still gone? It might be fucked. And I do feel like that's... Maybe that's what the, the special and everything is yeah. going to be about. Because yeah. there's definitely some, uh, not even threads. They're just full-on ropes. I do like the... So now the Doctor's going to have adventures in the ashes of the flux? <laughs> <laughs> William Tanner says, Do you think the Grand Serpent is an earlier version of the Swarm? They have a similar coat, and the Grand Serpent was exiled at the end. Maybe he eventually becomes Swarm because of what the Doctor did to him at the end of this episode. You know, the I... voice was very similar. At a time in this episode, I was like trying to listen it was in the interrogation scene. I was trying to listen to see if it was like even the same actor inside the, th- the prosthetics. I think it was a note that I took last episode of like, are those two like, if he's time traveling, like what if it's him, you know? But I was like, oh man, I don't want anyone to turn into that. So no. Yeah. And then I just didn't say it in the discussion. Well, for one thing, I don't for think someone so, to no. turn into that, you would have to reveal that and you would have to watch it on screen. I'd have you to. You would hate that. Yeah. I think the hate thing I hate the most is his, out, his, his suit. His face? His, no. Yes, but I also hate his, like... His entire character design. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything visual about him. <laughs> yeah. I like his voice. His voice is great. Yeah. It's definitely, like, bad guy voice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's got that high pitch, almost vision quality. Smooth, refined, British, but also it's got that gravel in mm-hmm. the back. Evil. All right, last couple here. Uh, Jan says, do you think the... It might be John, maybe? Anyway, uh, do you think that the specials will continue the Flux story and answer some of the questions that we have, or will they be completely independent? My problem with the finale is leaving so many questions open. If the writer was tasked with a six-hour story, he should at least make it complete, right? I have a theory that the first episode of the specials will solve all the problems in the first five minutes, and then we can get on to a new story. Maybe. I mean, this felt like we just kind of ended and like everything was fine, you know? Didn't feel like there was a problem. But yeah. there's questions where we're like, I feel like there's a problem. Abel says, do you guys consider behind-the-scenes stuff, like news, writers, characters, showrunners, as spoilers? Mm, not writers or showrunners. For me, it's mainly like, is this something that I would react to in the episode? Yeah. Like, Sometimes I see like, hey, Bam did this one, but that doesn't really change if I like, hey, Bam, Bam is does going the next to do episode. This one. Yeah, like, so that doesn't change. That's, that's at the bottom of the barrel, I would say, of like what I try to avoid. Um, the main thing they said is a spoiler is what they put, and I've seen it now. I don't know if you guys want to know or not, but I guess uh, Russell T Davies is set to return as a showrunner in the future at some point. Oh. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be in the specials. I don't know if it's going to be after the specials. I don't know what point. Hmm. But it's been Chibnall. Um, we had, what, Chris, uh, Chris Chibnall now, Russell T. Davies, and then, dang, what was the other guy's name? There was two back in the day. Yeah. yeah. Russell T. Davies did, did he do Matt Smith? I want to say he did Matt Smith. These are names that I've Chibnall heard did a million Peter times, but I don't know what to attribute. On. No, he would have ended at Peter Capaldi, and then everything after Peter Capaldi was Chibnall. 
Okay. Um, but I can't remember what the other guy's name is. It's escaping me. Russell T. Davies and something else. Um, and then the last one we have here is John, who says, Whilst the ending wasn't a huge explosive finale like some were hoping, I can't express how brilliant it was that they shot the whole thing in lockdown with COVID restrictions. Yep. Also, would you like to see this style of storytelling to continue in the future? No. No? <laughs> uh, I mean, when, I, when people say, like, what's your favorite parts of your favorite parts of Doctor Who, like, this doesn't come anywhere close to it. I like the Timeless Child Master stuff way more than I did this. Last season? Yeah. Um, it's interesting they're going back to another showrunner. Like, I wonder if... Because, you know, who did this one? Chibnall? This is Chibnall. So this is Chibnall. I kind of like the idea of, like, you pass on, then you sure. pass on the next, and pass on the next. Passing back, you think, is interesting. A lot of people are very excited by that. But I wonder if that'll mean, like, well, I didn't like this. I'm going to walk it back, you know? I personally like the sequel trilogy of Star Wars, but I feel like there was some problems of, like, J.J. Abrams to Ryan Johnson... Back to J.J. Abrams, sure. and we kind of, like, well, that doesn't... Pick up the... Yeah, that doesn't do it for me. But if you pass it on to one person who was, like, o- overseeing and making sure of yeah. that, those three stories, sure. it might have worked out a little better, rather yeah. than, like, pop, pop, pop. No, no, I get you. Pop, yeah. pop. I, I don't know. I'll be sure. interested. I know that the, the fan base was very vocal in their dislike for some of the stuff that sure. Chibnall has done. Yeah. Oh, that Ever since like, Jody... Well, we just, like, we're never going to look at that fucking thing down in the TARDIS. Lost it. Don't think about it. Moving on. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely felt different. Like, I feel like some of the most, like... It's a very different feel. Like, it's been very, like... I don't know. The camera work, everything looks pretty, you know? Like, mm-hmm. I don't know how to describe it. It just had, like, a higher production value, maybe, or something like that. Compared to, like, some of the older stuff, I think. Like, once Jim took over. Like, we even sure. talked about it during, like, the first Jody episodes. Yeah. Where it's, like, just different shots they have. just a different feel to a lot of mm-hmm. them. I agree. I mean, so. technology, cameras, all that stuff. It gets cheaper. It gets better. So yeah, hopefully it but it didn't do it in a year. Though. You know what I mean? Like, whenever they switched over and flipped to the next yeah. one, it just was like, why sure. does it feel so different? But, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Russell, Russell T. Davies had some really good stories that I liked. Mm-hmm. I'm not knowledgeable enough see. to be able to section them out to sure. their show. I'm pretty sure it was Moffat first. Yeah. I think. And then I think it was Russell T. Davies. I mean, yeah. it could have been the other way around. Mm. I think they worked together at some points. So... But anyway, no, I mean... we we'll fucking crazy if you're like, the next one is Scott Gimbel. <laughs> no! Who's that? He's the guy that did, uh, uh, like, Iron Fist Season 1, and oh. Dexter, and came in and did a bunch of shit, and you're like, that fucking Gimble. guy! Isn't that his name? Scott, Scott, Scott Buck? Buck? No, who's Scott Gimble? He did The Walking Dead. Scott yeah. Buck did the other one. Scott Buck. If it was Scott Buck. Oh, fuck. I would have recognized... Yeah. I See, called him Scott Fuck! Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, here. Russell T. Davies... Was involved in the journey to uh, the Lost Earth mm. and stuff. Gotcha. Um, stolen? Stolen Earth, yeah. Uh, who did? Yeah, Stephen Moffat did. So, Russell T. Davies was who started season one to like Eccleson. season five then okay. or so. And then Stephen Moffat took over after him and ran through all the way till Peter Capaldi. So, he would have picked okay. up around mm-hmm. Matt Smith, I think, and went through Peter Capaldi. So, is Gimbal. Is that his name? Who's Gimble? What's his name? Never mind. What's this guy's name? The Cur- the Cur- Chibnall. Cur- Chibnall. Chibnall, yeah. Chibnall's responsible just for Jody's stuff? Yeah, I think he took over after Peter Capaldi uh, regenerated. Interesting. I'm pretty sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, I f- definitely feel like that's when the fandom just was like, fuck this! So maybe people were very happy by that. I don't Let's know. See the doctor. I, so I think <laughs> the first thing that uh, Chibnall did would have been whenever Jody first showed up. I mean, I feel similar with Jody as I did with Capaldi. Like, I think they're better than the stuff they've been given to do. Sure. No, I don't, like, I've not hated Jody as the doctor. I think that some of the writing stuff, I've, I've always been waiting for that, like, like Peter Capaldi had a few moments where he got to shine and really have, like, some, like, big moments. And I never felt like they gave one of those to Jody. Yeah. You know? I she thought, needs a good shout. I like, know. I, I quite liked the three... Doctor thing she did here. I, I kind of like that. I like liked that. it, but it wasn't like Peter Capaldi telling these aliens and humans off for having a fight. All the Zygon one? Yeah, the Zygon I, I forgot about that one. She definitely doesn't have the fear of the Doctor moments. Sure. Like uh, David Tennant on, a, I think it was a Titanic episode, Yeah. when he's like, I'm the Doctor. I'm da 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 of Gallifrey. The last of the Time Lords. And there's like fucking sparks and fire behind him and stuff. Like, oh, I was like, it was just a cool moment, you yeah. know? Sometimes I What's feel that? like Jody just needs a little bit. Yeah. Like, Matt Smith was like, I'm Matt telling Smith. all of you! But you know? Capaldi, like, man, he would bring that. He was like, you know, they've trod for billions of years and haven't happened once. You know, he'd really do that. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like 
a couple big moments like that we haven't quite gotten from Jody yet. And I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it in a different way, and it should be like well, it's also, those are more vengeful or moments they are they're or coming after the or, war, right? Like the sure. idea is that like it's the doctor PTSD doctor, and, yeah, and we're like, getting away from that, yeah, right? Or, yeah, or the angry doctor, and maybe we shouldn't see so much old of man the, doctor, so, so much of the ego coming from the doctor sure. anymore, right? Yeah. Especially considering that everything has been a lie, and now they're like, well, who's what's my yeah. life? You know, who am I actually? Yeah. So she's struggling with even telling her companion what she's even looking for. Yeah. I'm interested to see what they do. Um, I honestly, I think it would be interesting to see if they brought in Russell T. Davies and not regenerate Jody, and then let the story progress with her for a little bit longer, maybe, and see what happens. But yeah. well, I, I don't know what the contracts are, what the plans are with that. But yeah, I, I, w- I would be interested to see that maybe. Based on what Time said, I don't think Jody can regenerate. Right. Well, sure. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the case may be. Like, is, saying, is like, she out of regenerations, or is this her, and stuff. or does she have one more? What does no. time know? I don't know. I don't know who he is, why he said it. Time doesn't know shit. Don't know anything. So. Doesn't look like anything. But, it's a mirror. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know if Russell is going to be taking over the next stuff. I don't yeah. know if this is the last of Chibnall. I don't yeah. know if Chibnall finishes off the specials, and that's the last. I don't, I don't know. But yeah. that's what they were saying there, so hmm. we'll see. Yeah, I don't know. That would be, like, if they came back in the specials, like, well, what's going to happen now? And, like, Joey turns around, she's like, time. Can go fuck itself. <laughs> Holy shit! They just took a turn. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we need a pull, Aaron. And Calvin, and me. Is the universe fucked? Yeah, I could do that. We need to fix this flux thing because it feels like it's a thing that needs fixed. Sure, let's ask that. Like, uh, so, oh wait, so do we ask? Are we gonna fix this flux? Oh. Or are we gonna ask? Is the universe still fluxed up? Just. Condense it down. What happened to Russia? I mean, one means Wait, the other. Russia. 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 Russia's not the ball. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you subscribe because there's apparently some specials coming out soon, and we will get those watched as soon as they pop up. You don't want to miss out. Subscribe so you don't miss on that. And if you want to see the entire reaction, it's available over at patreon.com slash blindwave on our Raw Rider tier. Full links there. You can see our entire reaction because we only put so much here. 